Terence Crawford taking on uh, Me Machine Cavalakis in the main event. Uh, Cavalakis coming off of a um, very controversial draw down in Philadelphia on the undercard of uh, Alex Vosdick fight, which I was there for. I didn't think that um, I didn't think that um, Cavalakis deserved that draw. I thought he lost to Ray Robinson, and I can't imagine what's going to happen against Crawford. But I'm going to turn it over to you and tell you what, well, right, what should we look for well, here. Well, first of all. Any fighter that I can't pronounce his name is not beating Crawford. <laughs> That's number one. Uh, no, but listen, all joking aside, Kavalafkis, um, I hope I'm saying it right, Kavalafkis, he is a strong physical guy. I'm going to give him more credit than you just gave him. And not that there was any reason not to, to say what you said. You, you saw what you saw. Uh, some people did think that he didn't even deserve to draw. Uh, I didn't watch it, so I can't really comment on it. Uh, I've heard some people that also told me that maybe they thought he won, that he shouldn't have been a draw. It was close. It was, but it wasn't what people expected. People thought that it was going to be his coming out party, that he was going to go through Ray Robinson. But Ray Robinson's a Philadelphia fighter. South Pole is a good boxer. He had been knocked out before that, so a lot of people thought uh, that you know this Kavalak, this being strong, being physical, being a good puncher, would do the same. But he didn't. He got he. Um, I'm not going to say he got taken to school, but maybe he did in certain ways. But what did he learn from it? I don't know. What did he learn from that? That's the key. What did he learn from that fight? But I think having said all those things, and I said everything that's fair to say to point out, you know, both sides of it. Uh, he's a strong guy. He's a physical guy. He had a real good amateur career. Uh, he's, he's one of those guys with two, three hundred amateur fights. He's got that pedigree, that experience. Um all that stuff he comes from the the stable that Lomachenko comes from the same manager Agus that manages Lomachenko and 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 Volzik and and uh, you know uh, Yusik and uh, Kovalev you know all, all those uh, yeah I said Volzik oh sorry uh, all uh, Alex all, all those fighters uh, so. Um, He's a guy that obviously Vegas has him. He has him for a reason. Uh, with all those other fighters, he thinks a lot of them. This is his chance. Uh, again, a uh, good puncher. Uh, you know, a guy that a lot of people, uh, listen, a lot of people might say that they're letting him fight now, you know, because uh, they feel after the Ray Robinson fight that, you know, he's he's gone as far as he can before he loses to somebody that, that's give him a shot for the title. Good you know, that, let's do that. Maybe they're thinking that. I don't know. Uh, all I know is he's a guy that is everything I just said. Some people, in fairness, will say he got exposed in the Robinson fight. That, you know, that he's not ready for this for this fight. We'll find out. Mm -hmm. uh, we know one thing with watching Wilder. Wilder does a lot of things wrong, but he's got that great eraser. And and we've seen him lose, and he was losing six rounds to nothing against Ortiz. And what happens? Bang. All of a sudden, he ain't losing no more. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not going to say it's that easy. There's a big difference of, you know, of uh, landing one on Ortiz like Wilder did and trying to land one on Crawford. <laughs> big difference. Yes, I get it. I think Crawford, as I said, he's, he's number one and number two in the world. I got him number two. I could easily make him number one. Kovalovskis is in there with a special guy, a guy that guys who are just what I described, don't beat him because you got to be more than physical, more than a good puncher. He handles good punches. He handles physical guys. He has lunch with them because he is special. Because he is more than just a guy that uh, has physical attributes. So, having said all that, where do you think I'm going, baby? Mybookie.ag. <laughs> Check them out. Use the promo code Atlas for 50% credit on your first deposit. Tell me what happens in the fight. I have Crawford winning by knockout inside of five rounds. Um, I just, again, I think that Kavalovskis is is a strong kid. He's a kid that, like a lot of these kids, that worked his life to get to this point and had a real good amateur background. It's no knock on him. I just think he's in there with a with a really special fighter and a fighter that I think takes strong guys, takes physical guys, takes one dimensional guys uh, to that extent that you know sometimes being physical and just a good puncher, you could be a little one dimensional. Takes those guys apart. 
mm-hmm. you know, finds weaknesses in him and exploits it and shows it to the world right there. You know, he fought Benavides. Benavides was a strong guy. Benavides was going to do this. Benavides was a good amateur. You know, but when he got in there with Crawford, it was a different story. Yeah. And on top of all that, he's got a good chin. On top of all that, if he does make a mistake, and sometimes he gets a little reckless with his hand placement. Uh, That's one thing that sometimes Crawford gets a little reckless with stepping out. He might step out with his hand down a little low or throw something with one of the hands. Just, Just sometimes, just a little... A little careless sometimes in those areas where if you do catch him, you might catch him clean. Mm-hmm. But when that's happened, he's, he's also had the great, the great chin to back him up, yeah. the great belief in himself, you know, to back him up. So, again, I see Crawford for my bookie inside five rounds. <laughs>